Okay, so three tips on how I stay organized, or at least strive to stay organized. <laughs> um, the first one is keeping a clean desk space. Um, this is something that I learned the other day from reading about uh, Benjamin Franklin's daily schedule. At the end of the day, he would always reorganize his desk, you know, make sure everything's clean and neat and stuff like that. So I've actually not done that uh, today or last night. However, I'm going to do it right now because, um, you know, I don't want to be a hypocrite. <laughs> so here's, here's the desk space right now, unfortunately. Um, I've got a little file folder over here called Mob, <laughs> but um, yeah, let's uh, let's fix this, shall we? So another thing to keep organized is your emotional thoughts and your um, confidence in yourself as a person, I suppose. Um, so for me, it's you know really thinking positively, you know, thinking what it'd be like to uh, be on um, Holly's. Uh, Moab inspiration page. Um, I think I will be on there at some point because uh, I, I have ha I have had one good titanium commission. Um, but you know, in the future when I'm a diamond and y'all sink you know twenty thousand dollars in one sale on one day, like just picturing that in my mind and thinking about how awesome that's going to be, being congratulated by Stephen Bransfield or someone like that, that'll be awesome. I can just imagine it. Holly will say. Congratulations, John Palmer. <laughs> You've. I don't, she doesn't sound like that. I don't know why. What that impression is, but <laughs> I'll, I'll roll with it. Congratulations, John Palmer. You've just made twenty thousand dollars in one day. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> and I'll be like, Oh my God, <laughs> Mom, get me a clean pair of undies. <laughs> I've seen green, and I've just gone to Brown Town. <laughs> what? <laughs> And of course, another great way to um, keep your emotional uh, thoughts organized and in check is, of course, to uh, take your handy dandy Moab Stress Star, squeeze that, and then also, you know, spin your fidgets because it's completely scientifically proven to reduce stress. And then, last but not least, uh, for organizational skills is keeping track of your KPIs, key performance indicators. You know, your clicks, and your conversions, and your sales, and your uh, projections for what you can expect to make uh, over the year. You know, I was just watching one of the Silver videos, and it was talking about the formula that you can use. Um, so, you know, say you make 10000 you've made $10,000 since June. Okay, so it's been about 180 days in the year so far. Say so take $10,000 times 180, and then you multiply that by 365. So half the year, if you know it's been six months, you've made $10,000. So obviously, pretty simple math. You can expect that you make about $20,000 by the end of the year. But you know that's just a simple uh, example, simple formula there, and that formula will work. You know depending on whatever whatever numbers you uh you have in your business so kpis you know positive thinking and a clutter-free workspace those are my tips for staying organized and um yeah they work <laughs> pura vida <laughs>